Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from CheckMe. This is their model number BP2W, blood pressure monitor with ECG function. So you can check your blood pressure and your ECG with the BP2W. It connects via Bluetooth to your device like your phone or your tablet, and also supports Wi-Fi connection as well. We're going to dig into this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's check out everything that comes in the box with the BP2W. You do get a warranty card from CheckMe. Hold on to that. You also get a quick guide and a full user manual here. Uh, the quick guide is a nice handy fold out uh, written in English here uh, showing you how to apply the cuff to your arm, uh, making sure that it's lined up the correct way, how to get the app, which is the vHealth app. You can get that for Android or for iOS and then how to enable Bluetooth and make sure uh, that your app is connected correctly. So hold on to that just in case you need it. The user manual is in English and French and uh, goes a little bit more into detail. Now to recharge the internal battery that's inside here, you have a standard USB a type a to USB a type C connection and you can plug this end into any PC or laptops USB or if you have something like this from another device you can use an AC to USB adapter and that will work just fine to recharge the rechargeable battery inside the BP2W. Taking a look at the unit itself, uh, you do have a few buttons here, a start and a stop button, a nice LCD screen, and then you have a menu function button on the left hand side as well. I'll get into that in just a few moments. Uh, overall, you can see that we have a, a nice cuff on here. This again shows you a little diagram of how to uh, make sure that this is correctly positioned on your arm. It does not contain latex, so if you are allergic to latex, you don't have to worry about that. And it's definitely big enough for larger arms as well. Uh, as you saw from the diagram there, uh, they give you a little bit of uh, insight on that. Now, uh, as far as connecting this, again, there's your USB Type-C input for recharging the battery. And these two plates uh, are for your ECG. Now you can do this a couple different ways. You can do this palm to palm or palm to abdomen. Uh, and those will be for your ECG readings. Uh, we can press the start and stop button here. You'll see your battery life, your date, your time. And then if we do start and stop again, that will do a blood pressure. And also the uh, three line button will do ECG. So it's pretty much as easy as that to get started up. Holding the start and stop button will turn off the unit. So let me get it hooked up here to uh, the app and then we'll go into exactly how this reads, uh, what it will show you and what it will allow you to do. Okay, so now I've got everything powered on here and I do have my vHealth app and I have it for Android. Again, it's available for iOS as well. Uh, so let's launch this here and you can see that we get kind of a, a history dashboard and profile at the bottom. In your profile, you'll be able to see your device here uh, and you can select that device. Uh, that's how you're going to connect this. You just turn it on and then connect it. You've got a few settings for the app that you can change here as well and settings for the device. Now there's a three times mode measurement for this, which means that it will uh, take three uh, measurements and then you can take the average of those three and you can change the intervals. You can turn the heartbeat sound on or off and you can even connect this to Wi-Fi if you do not want to use Bluetooth uh, for a better connection. And it's nice to have that three times measurement mode so that you can get the average of three readings. So I'm going to take a sample blood pressure reading first and we'll uh, hit the start stop button and let you hear and see on the dashboard in the app how this takes a measurement.
Okay, so there's my reading. It's 135 over 80. I guess my systolic is a little high because I've been kind of running around, moving around, and talking uh, to get the review done here. The heart rate of 67. So that is my current reading here. We're also going to do an ECG reading as well. We can hit the start and stop button, go back to our main uh, portion here, or main menu, and then I can hit the uh, left button, which is the three-line button for ECG. I can either do palm to palm or I can also do palm to abdomen uh, so you can do that as well and this is great having both of these functions in one device here you can see there's a little graphic there uh, you can easily use both of your palms or you can use a palm against your abdomen to get the uh, ECG done so we're going to do palm to palm here and you're going to be able to see uh, the ECG reading being taken So there we did a, a standard 30 second ECG here and you can see that it is now uploading that information to the app uh, and I have it connected to my Wi-Fi as well as Bluetooth. If we go to ECG you're going to be able to see that we do have uh, our uh, ECG just popped up right there. Now they do have an interesting thing here with ECG. We can click into this. It says regular heart rate because it falls within that you know 73 beats per minute. We can and zoom in and out on the ECG strip and they also have an AI analysis button which is really nice it uses AI to uh, take a look at your ECG and make sure that there are no anomalies there that you should be aware of uh, you can also add notes or notes to this uh, maybe you were not feeling well or you had a headache or something like that and in the upper right hand corner we have a share button and this is great to be able to share these results with your healthcare provider uh, or friends or family and while this is analyzing we're going to go back and we're going to take a look at uh, our uh, blood pressure. Now our blood pressure here uh, again was uh, 135 over 80. We can take a look at that uh, if we want to as well and it's going to show us some other things here. Now it's going to show me that of course my systolic is a little bit high. It shouldn't be that high. It should be you know 120 over 80 instead. But I have my pulse rate there, my uh, mean arterial pressure, and my pulse pressure also listed. And I can also add notes to this screen as well uh, depending on how I'm feeling or the time of day or things like that. Now that the AI analysis is done on my ECG, you can see that it came up with normal sinus rhythm, meaning that it's a normal sinus rhythm and no special examination is required. Further examination will be needed in case of any symptoms. I can, of course, add notes if I want to and then shoot that off to my doctor or healthcare provider if I need to. Now the cool thing about this device again is it's not just a blood pressure cuff, it's also an ECG device. So you have both of those functions in one device and I really do like that. I like that it has a rechargeable battery as well so I don't have to keep replacing batteries over time. I like the app and how it's integrated. It'll allow me to check my blood pressure uh, in real time as I'm doing the readings and the ECG in real times as I'm doing this as well and I can track these by day, week, month, or year so that's nice as well. Uh, you can set up several different profiles files if you have uh, a couple people in the house uh, that will be using this device and overall they integrate very well so I think that CheckMe has done a great job with the BP2W and the vHealth software.
So there you go. That's my review of the CheckMe BP2W blood pressure monitor with ECG function. I really like this uh, blood pressure cuff because it does also have the ECG built into it as well. So you're basically getting two devices in one. Uh, it works very well and with the accompanying vHealth app uh, syncs up all my data so I can keep it in one spot and then share it with my healthcare provider if needed uh, or if I just need to uh, continuously monitor my own health uh, this works out very very well overall I had a great time reviewing the BP2W from CheckMe and I'm definitely giving it a thumbs up this was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review I hope you enjoyed my review and I'll check you guys out on the next one